What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to show the 7 triples I got in Legends League today between my two accounts using 2 Clone Hydra and 3 Clone Hydra. We're going to continue to show this Legends Showcase, give you guys different bases that we are tripling in Legends League, and just help you guys get better at this attack and this super easy spam saga. So if you guys like today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel and turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll get right into the action. Alright guys, in this first replay, we are starting with two Clone Hydra with that one heal spell and one invisibility spell for our heroes. We're going to start on this base at the 12 o'clock with our king and our queen. And we're going to use our Baby Dragon at 9 o'clock with our Royal Champion. And then we're going to get the Dragons, Baby Dragons, Loons, Warden, and that Blimp right down the middle. Obviously, you guys know the most important part about this attack is making sure that Blimp is in that Warden ability. You can see I used both of my free spells to make sure that Sweeper didn't affect that at all. And I actually find a Tornado Trap here, but it doesn't matter. We were in the Warden ability. Going to let that Blimp kind of just circulate a little bit, waste that Tornado Trap. And I get my clones ready with the rage, and we're going to take down this town hall pretty easily. Then we're going to be able to pick up a little bit of value on the outside of this base as well. And then the Royal Champion's going to work up towards this uh, scatter shot. I'm actually going to use that invisibility spell to protect her. That way she is safe to get that scatter shot down. And then she can move up and take down this expo as well and help us take down a couple more defenses. But we did lose our king and our queen already on this one. So we are going to triple this base without our archer queen. I know that does not happen very often. Uh, we normally always have our Archer Queen at this point, but she ended up going down pretty early in the attack, as you guys can see uh, up here. But it, at this point, it doesn't matter. You can see all the dragons, dragon riders we have. We actually still have our king misspoke there, but we lost our queen in the in the uh, royal champion. But man, that heal spell really keeps some of these dragons, dragon riders healed up uh, throughout the beginning of that attack through the first multi. And that really helps uh, for the end of the attack because you end up with more dragons, drag riders at the end. Alright guys, on this next base we have um, this box style base. Not really a teaser style. Uh, we're going to start with the king and the queen. Um, on this side, I didn't go from the complete opposite side on this one just because of the sweep replacement. You guys can see the sweepers here. So I went king, queen at 6 only because the archer queen was over here. It really didn't matter. Uh, both sides of the base were the exact same, so I just picked the side, and I just went with the Archer Queen because I think she's got more HP points than the Royal Champion. And we're going to get that blip all the way up to the Town Hall, get a perfect ward ability, use our heal spell through this uh, multi-target Inferno. You can see our Dragon stay completely healed off here. We got the Town Hall down pretty easily, and we're just going to work up through the rest of the space. Got our Queen stepping up with our King to take down. Uh, Queen's going to try to take down this Lava Hound. And we're going to get down this multi-target Inferno. Really just got to get through a couple air defenses and that scatter shot. And we will be uh, more home free on the rest of this attack. And we still got the queen ability. So that's going to come in handy later on in the attack. As these dragons, dragon riders work uh, to finish off a lot of these defenses for us. We end up getting down uh, the scatter shot, I believe. And possibly the royal champion here. Well, which comes... A huge help. I think, yeah, the Warden ends up finishing off the Royal Champion, which helps us out a lot. And now we just need our Queen to work our way all the way around the base and uh, up towards this little Tesla farm we got up here, and we'll be able to finish this off. We're going to end up having to use her ability here uh, to get through this wall, but we will take down this Expo. And then eventually we're going to have to break through another wall to get out to finish off these Teslas. Dragon is full healed, but I'm pretty sure he finds a seeking air mine up here. Or he just gets smoked by these Teslas. Yeah, Teslas end up finishing them off pretty quickly. But while we were breaking down that wall, Queen went back up to full health. So she's going to three-shot these Teslas. And we're going to finish off the base. These bases are really awkward for Clone Hydra. It's really just... I mean... Depending on the sweep replacement, you can go opposite. Um, but usually you have to do one of these tactics, um, the corn, the sides of the base. All right, this one was probably one of the fastest triples of the day. We hit a minute 30 on this base. Um, we see this base a ton of times, a ton of different variations of this base. Same thing that we always do, king and the queen at that 
uh, 2 o'clock range, the main army at that 1 o'clock range, and then the baby dragon at 12. And I got the royal champion coming in early as well. And I got that heal spell down very early. Look at all that volume we're getting out of that heal spell uh, with that multi-target infernos and everything spraying down on our army. And we're going to be able to get that ward ability off in plenty of time for our uh, blimp to spin around in the uh, tornado trap a little bit uh, before it pops because we all know that tornado trap is going to be right there. So we just got to get that later on ward ability and that actually helps us out here. You can see all of the balloons we got value right here um, working towards the rest of these defenses over here um, and helping tank for our dragons, drag riders down there. And so I had the king ability. So we're going to use the king ability here to push through that multi-target infernal and that air defense that's left right here. And this base was just absolutely smoked. I mean, we, everything went perfect on this attack. Uh, we still got the Royal Champion alive. She's about to go down. But everything that could go perfect went perfect on this attack. And we ended up just absolutely smoking this base. Uh, Queen's going to finish it off with her ability. But we still got dragons and dragon riders. The king, the warden. We had all kinds of stuff left. But yeah, we absolutely destroyed that base. All right, now we are in the three clone hydra portion of the video. We used this army on my maxed account, and we finished with four triples plus 260 something today, plus 100 overall after defenses. So, not a bad day, solid and Legends League. Both of my accounts are sitting one's at 5401, and the other one is right under 5300 or right under 5400. So, uh, we're moving up slowly. I had a rough day on defense on my account that I was pushing uh, into the top thousand went minus 278 overall and that really hurt um, but you can see we you know same thing on all these opposite side bases we're gonna push um, all the way from that uh, opposite side and let these clones do the work up here you can see we got perfect clone value freeze down on this multi that way these clones are gonna pick up that multi target inferno as well now they're gonna work towards this archer tower and the uh, Eagle Artillery, and they're going to tank the single Inferno uh, for the Dragons that are about to swing back around. And that's going to help us out as well. So the Dragons could actually go, they're going to chase down these Skeletons first, but they're going to eventually get that single target Inferno. And we got to deal with all these heroes up here, but at this point, uh, you already know. We got all these Dragons, and we got the Queen alive with her ability. So this is going to be real easy cleanup here um, at the end of this attack. Queen's going to be able to take down these heroes no problem. And then we're going to use her ability on the Barbarian King just to get through and finish off this attack. But on these opposite side Town Hall teasers, um, you guys already know, be prepared for a Tornado Trap. Luckily, it was on the other side. Um, but we are pushing opposite side of the Town Hall with this attack. Uh, it just... The way I've had the most success on these teaser bases. Alright guys, this was the, uh, I believe, the fastest triple we had with three Clone Hydra today. It was at right at a minute 29. Uh, we absolutely smoked this base as well. But we top side this time. I'm uh, changing up a little bit. Mix it up on you guys. So I started King of the Queen at 9 o'clock. And the RC with the Baby Dragon at 12 o'clock. And then the main army right down the middle at the uh, 10 and 11 o'clock positioning. And we're just going to push under this base like we always do. Get this ward ability where we're close to the Town Hall. Just in case we find a Tornado Trap. Which you know we're going to. Um, the blimp can actually expire this tornado trap and then we can still pick up the value from the clones actually gonna clone some dragons while we're at it uh, which is not that big of a deal because we still got enough balloons to take down the town hall we got nine coming out of that blimp and then whatever was left with the clones and we're gonna easily take that down still got some clone loons over here that are gonna tank for our uh, queen or tank for the dragons and everything and king breaks up into this uh, compartment which is gonna help us out a lot but you can see so I got Dragon Dragon Rider up here. So I got a bunch of Dragons and Dragon Riders with the Warden. I mean, we just we have so much of the army left, so there's just no way we're not absolutely destroying this base. Only 10 seconds left. And we still got the Queen ability, so uh, we're going to pick this up, this one up very, very easily as well. Uh, this base was way too compact um, for this current meta, especially with Hydra and Clone Hydra running around, um, which I still think... The version of Hydra that's the best is Clone Hydra, in my opinion. Um, I think it's the best spam attack in the current meta at Town Hall 14. This one ended up being another pretty quick triple overall, a minute 41. Probably just a little longer because the space was a little bit more spread out. But, you know, we're going opposite side. We're going to start King and Queen at 6. King is going to eventually break himself into this compartment and work up towards 
that Barbarian King and the Eagle as well. Gonna get that blimp on early. Um, RC with the dragons over here with the baby dragon as well. That way I had her help to take down that single target Inferno. Ended up not dropping the freeze fast enough on that sweeper, so we ended up losing a little bit momentum, but um, it's not really going to matter here. And that sweeper is going to blow some of our loons towards uh, that third clone I set up there. And you can see how many clone loons we still have after uh, the Tom Hawk explosion. I know some of you guys say you struggle with not having a lot of loons live through the town hall explosion you don't get a, you don't get a lot of value with it it's all about your your clone placement you got to make sure you're placing clones off of the town hall i would only literally place one clone on the town hall because the loons in the blimp and the loons from the clone the first clone will get the job done you got to make sure you place the other clone or the other two clones off the town hall um, that way these balloons don't target the town hall because if you have all, you know, 37 balloons, whatever it is, target the Town Hall, they're all going to die in the Town Hall explosion. And that's not really the value we're looking for here. So you need to make sure you're putting clones off of the Town Hall. That way we can pick up the value we need to. And we can get these easy, easy triples in Legends League. And you can see this one ended up being a pretty easy one as well. All the, I think all of the three clone Hydra triples today uh, were fairly, fairly easy. Uh, on some of these teaser bases. All right, so this is a perfect example of what I was talking about uh, on this previous one that we had. Uh, I looked at the sweeper placement on here, and I realized that we could send the dragons uh, right towards that first multi and get this army going and get the sweeper going, or the uh, blimp going early to the town hall uh, because of the way the sweepers were uh, pointed. So this is one where I wouldn't attack from the side because the sweepers are going to really, really hinder uh, you get in there and also your blimps not gonna get shot by the sweepers um, from this angle so there's really no need to attack from the side here you're gonna pick up a lot of value get this blimp to the town hall and then all these clones you can see the the value we get of them pushing towards the middle I froze down that scatter shot didn't take a big hit by that scatter shot and now we're gonna pick up that scatter shot and we're working towards the other scatter shot so we picked up like just massive value with the clones on this one and it's all about one, the clone placement, and two, uh, just getting the blimp in the right spot. We, we saw the sweepers here, and I decided to bring the army right down the middle, and we took out a just massive amount. I mean, we still have clone loons that are just finally disappearing. Um, we lost the queen on this one. We lost the RC pretty early on this one. But it's not going to matter just because of how much army we still have left um, in this attack. We're going to easily be able to finish this one off. Still got the king working with the dragons and we still got a full health dragon rider with the unicorn helping him out stay uh, full health and we have three dragons and a baby dragon as well and that really uh, is because of the value we got from the clones I mean if we didn't get both scatter shots down with the clones and some of the other value we got in the town hall and eliminate the poison and that single that we got uh, that doesn't look as pretty especially losing the queen and the RC pretty early but the value you get from the clones can actually save a lot of your attacks as well. So it's all about clone placement and making sure you get the value you need uh, to get these triples. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy the content. As always, appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and support the channel. Had another sweet video for you guys today showing you guys both my Legends League accounts and the triples we got today in Legends League. We ended up having seven overall out of the 16 accounts. Or 16 attacks, so it's not too bad overall, but I definitely want to raise that number, um, especially if I want to stay up in that top 1k range, is what I'm aiming for. I definitely need to be getting at least five triples per account every single day in Legends League. If you guys missed yesterday's video, we were just showing three clone Hydra. Uh, no commentary on that one, but it's definitely good just to see the bases that we are tripling with this army. If you guys like today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll catch you next time.